This uh, part of the video is for uh, when I went to the Kaplan Volcano area. Um, I was, uh, this was uh, right after I got released from the uh, Waco Mental Hospital in February of 2022. I had to walk around Waco for three days. Not one person would help me. What I had was people laughing in my face. I had one guy when I was walking to the hotel, he said, you okay, bud? You okay? Hey, man, you okay, bud? You okay? Laughing in my face. As I'd walk, that was the third day I was there. Uh, third day, I was just walking. Walking, I walked, I don't know, 50, 60 miles in three days. He was just laughing in my face. Laughing like it was funny. It wasn't funny. It was not funny. He was laughing. At me. Uh, actually, that would have been, uh, so I was released, you know, after 23 days. Then I stayed in Motel 6. Then I stayed in Quality Inn. And then I stayed at the Motel 6 again. He was laughing at me when I returned to Motel 6 that day. Anyway, I, this is the first day that I uh, I got out of the mental hospital and I stayed in the Motel 6 right here in this area. So, and then uh, the next day I woke up and I started walking because I didn't have a car. Now, I had money and I had a debit card. It was a Visa debit card. I couldn't rent a car. They wouldn't let me rent a car at Enterprise. Nobody let me rent a car because I said I had to have a credit card, which was not the case years ago. When me and Hong Wong would come up here, I'd use my debit card with the credit card logo on it. I had the same thing, debit card with credit card logo. They would not rent me a car. I couldn't even get a U-Haul. I was trying to get a U-Haul. They wouldn't give me a U-Haul. I had to walk around the city. I walked this whole road. This is the first road. I, I walked this whole path on the first day I came out here about three o'clock and I ate at a uh, Cracker Barrel. I was, I was in tears because my legs hurt so bad. I'd been in that mental hospital for 30, 23 days. I, I was in pain. I was in tears. Nobody would help me. So, so the next day, um, I woke up and keep in mind, this is the path I went the first day all the way down. That's the shore, Lake Shore Drive. And it, right here is a Cracker Barrel. There's a Walmart over here where I bought a few things. The next day, I walked all the way back here and I asked the guy, I asked the guy the quality, and I said, um, Do you have a taxi? You know, so I wanted to call a taxi so I could take a taxi. He's like, No, we don't have any taxis anymore. They don't. He said, You have to call, you have to use Uber. And I said, Well, I said, Well, how do you call Uber? He said, You have to have a, a cell phone app. I said, Well, I don't have a cell phone. He said, oh, OK, well, you know, do, uh, well, you can cross the bridge over there. He told me to cross the bridge on 35 <laughs> to go across the Brazos right here. Uh, there's a, there's another path over here which goes on the back side. It's right here. It goes on the back side of the uh, university, uh, Baylor University. But See, he wouldn't even help me. He, all he had to do was use his cell phone when I was staying at his hotel and call me an Uber. And I would have had an Uber driver. But he wouldn't even help me. Nobody would help me. So anyway, that day I walked all the way down here through this area. Then I saw the cop that arrested me. And I waved at him. He goes, he looked at me. He goes, oh, like he was scared or something. <laughs> he couldn't believe I was walking through the Baylor campus after he he helped me get injured. Three cops injured me. He looked at me. It was the funniest thing I saw. I said, how you doing? And he goes, oh. <laughs> anyway, I walked all through Waco. I had lunch here. Good place to have lunch. Mexican restaurant. A uh, really good place to have uh, Chilgrianos. And, and they have a, you know, um, they have, uh, I forgot what I had there. Um, I think I had chicken, chicken, uh, enchiladas or so I had some kind of enchilada there. It was pretty good. Uh, and then I walked on through down these roads. I ended up staying at Mo uh, Motel 6 again that night. The guy was laughing in my face, laughing in my face. Uh, the, th the third day, I, I, or the last day, I walked right to the, the bus station, which is in this area out here somewhere. And then the bus took me to Fort Worth, to Fort Worth. Now, the crazy thing. At this bus station right here in Waco, Texas, the Greyhound bus station, Greyhound. I got there about uh, 30 minutes before the, the bus ride to uh, Fort Worth because they didn't have Amtrak. They had, they had to take a Greyhound. So I got there about 30 to 45 minutes before the bus got there. And uh, this guy came in with, uh, he had a backpack on with a little blanket like he was like he was hitchhiking and stuff. And uh, he had a red beard and, and uh, he got on the bus too. He, he kind of snuck on. I, I kind of closed my eyes, but I, I met where he couldn't sit behind me. He got on the bus, too. Crazy thing about that guy, when I got off in Fort Worth, I, I went around and I ate at a Taco Bell out here. Some of his Taco Bell. And I go and I see him. He's standing in the corner like he's following me. Now, this man told me many years ago he was going to kill me in the Fort Worth, Fort Worth stockyards. And there he was following me around Waco, Texas. There he was, just like he said so many years ago. Now, remember, this is February 2022, and this guy's stalking me, and he followed me, and it's, it is the same guy. And uh, 
uh, he, he, I lost him at the Taco Bell. I went out the other side and went down to the police there. I was waving at the police officers. I was walking through Fort Worth by the federal building, all the state police, all the courthouses and stuff. I was just waving, y'all, y'all won't do nothing, you liars. And then, um, crazy thing about that redheaded guy that followed me in Fort Worth, right before I boarded my plane from Dubai to Vietnam, he was in the Dubai airport. He just turned around and looked at me real sad like he just got caught. He told me, I heard him, he was going to get a cobra and let it go into my future wife's house so it could bite me. That's what that man said many years ago. And there he was here in February 2022. And then there he was in the airport, the Dubai airport, going to Vietnam in 2023. Now, uh, after I... I left for where I took the Amtrak to Ardmore. Uh, I got to Ardmore. People were waiting for me. Everybody's just pretending. So when you get here, this is going to happen. This is going. There was a guy out there. Hey, bud, how's it going? And then there was a lady walking by. You know, some cowgirl walking by. It's just like everybody told me they would. I don't. I don't want to be here. I, I hate you for what you've done to me. You, you treat it like it's a game. You've ruined my life, and you're laughing in my face. I didn't do nothing to deserve this. So uh, anyway, I stayed at a. Uh, what was it? The uh, Best Western out here in Ardmore. And they, and my phone would not dial out. Her, she, she wouldn't pick up the phone. It was, it was a busy sign. Like the phone was off the hook or something. So the next morning I started walking. She picked me up about uh, where the fireworks stand is between Ardmore and Long Grove, where it used to be, uh, Fox Den Road area. And then uh, I got in my car and I took off because I want attention for what you guys did. I want to get somebody arrested. I want the truth. You're not going to ruin my life and just walk away laughing at me. So uh, after I get to her house... Uh, now, all these areas, I, these are just towns I've been. These are towns where everybody proves they know who I am. So anyway, I left Ardmore. I get to Lone Grove. Um, I get my car. Uh, I start driving. I go all the way out to Warica. I stop at a little gas station. Uh, people inside know who I am in that little gas station. Right as you get into Warica, the, the little truck stop at the restaurant. Uh, I head all out here to Randlett. People knew who I was at Randlett. They couldn't believe I was coming through. I kept going out here through, uh, was it, Grandfield? I kept heading on out. I ended up, now remember, I, these are all circle because these are places I've been where everybody knows who I am. But uh, I ended up coming out through here, through I think through Fredport. And I think I came up here because I know there's like an Apache reservation. I drove by a re Apache reservation up here somewhere. I was on the back streets and I came in through the top side of Altus. And I went to the Walmart in February 22. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow down. I went to the Walmart on that day, Altus, Oklahoma, in February of 2022. Everyone proved they knew who I was in the year February uh, uh, 2022. Even the police proved knew who I was. Nobody would do a thing to help me. Why? Do you understand what depriving a man of his civil rights are? Police officers from Altus, Oklahoma. Do you? So anyway, I left here. And I ended up here in Shamrock, Texas. Somehow, I don't know which path I took. I ended up in Shamrock. I ended up in McLean. And I ended up in Amarillo, Texas, where I stopped at a Cracker Barrel and I had dinner at Cracker Barrel. And this is uh, the day after I got back to uh, uh, Ardmore, Oklahoma, after being released from the mental hospital in Waco, Texas. Um, so I ate at Cracker Barrel and then I kept moving on out. So anyway, I, like I said, I went through this path. I got to Amarillo. I ate dinner at a, uh, uh, a Cracker Barrel. And then I headed out. I went through Vega. I went through all these other places. It was starting to get late. Uh, I went through all these places. starting to get late. And I, I got all the way out here to Tucumcari, New Mexico. And I stayed at a Motel 6. Uh, I only slept for like, you know, four or five hours, maybe three, three to five hours. And I woke up and there was five inches of snow. So I got in the car and I took off because I didn't want to just get stuck in the snow. I want people to know what happened, what you guys did. So I, I went down this. It's like a mountain pass. It, it's the craziest thing. It's desert. It's all desert out here. It, it was, there was five inches of snow when I left here. There was snow all over the road when I'm going through this little pass right here over this lake. And I get down here and it's all desert. And I get to Las Vegas, New Mexico. I'm almost out of gas because it's about a 100-mile trip from here. I'm almost out of gas. I get to the gas station and there's an older man and an older lady inside. And they're, they're just laughing as I walk in the door. And the funny thing is, they were laughing like they knew I was getting ready to come in the door, but I had no idea where I was at. But they knew exactly who I was and what I was there for. They knew. They're in Las Vegas, New Mexico. 
This is New Mexico. Just got flooded a few nights ago. Anyway, I left there after getting gas and waving at police officers everywhere I go. And I go on up here to whack about. And, uh, and I go up here, you know, to this area up here. I go all the way up and I go up to the Capitol. The crazy thing about this area is there's free range ranches where the gates are wide open. You're just driving on people's land. You are, you're driving on people's ranches and then they have signs up that says, don't hit the cows, <laughs> something like that. And you're driving on ranches that don't have gates. They just have little, you know, uh, things so the cows can't get out. Cattle, cattle things, cattle guards. And uh, you're just driving on free range ranches. And, and as long as you don't do anything wrong, they let you drive across their lands from highway to highway. At least they did for me. So anyway, I drove through all these towns. I ended up at the Kaplan Volcano. I get out at the rest stop. I get out. And the Lord God has me put my hand on the ground. And I do. And when I stand back up, I see people get out of the cars and go in a rest stop. I'm purple and black, turquoise black, pink and black. And that was in February of 2022. Nobody's doing anything to uh, help me. Uh, nobody's doing anything to stop God from uh, giving the 10th plague of Egypt to America. You're just letting it happen. It's your fault when it happens because you, you show you know the truth. And you won't do anything to help me. Uh, so anyway, after I left the capital of the volcano, I went out here to Felt, Oklahoma. And there's, there's a little buffalo sign. You don't even know you enter Oklahoma. There's a little tiny sign with a buffalo on it saying, oh, you know, you're in Oklahoma or something. I didn't. I was like, I can't be in Oklahoma, but I was in Oklahoma. Anyway, I, I came out there. I, I've been through Felt. I've been through here. I ended up going through this area, through here, and I ended up in Amarillo where I stayed the night. And I think a uh, quality end. So about two in the morning, I wake up and I go in the hallway and there's this guy standing there with his hair sticking out. And he's looking at me like he just got caught following me. It's like he just got caught because I got up and I was getting ready to leave. And he comes out of his room right as I go by. And he's just standing there looking at me like he just got caught trying to track me. <laughs> I got in my car and I took off. And uh, this time I went down this path, which is uh, I think that's 287. But I went down this path. I've been through here before. There's a Memphis, Texas right here. They just got hit by a tornado about, I don't know, two or three months ago. Uh, go on down. And I went all the way down here into Fort Worth. And now I've got all this stuff circled. So this is about the path I took to Fort Worth. And I got back to my apartment. And I stayed and I waited for somebody to tell the truth. And nobody told the truth. Now, anyway, the reason all these places are circled is because these are towns and cities that I've been to where people prove that they know who I am everywhere. That's how many people are watching you. So I want you to remember that as uh, you continue to lie.